Good evening, YouTubers. Good evening. I've got my Volvo 2006 XC90 I picked up at auction last week. Bought it at auction for $1,000. Yes. It is quite a nice vehicle for the money. Um, oh, let's... Wow. Let's get it close there to the basketball post. Um... Yeah, this, uh, this little car, it, um, let's take it for a little test drive. It's a three owner, perfect Carfax. It's got, um, hey Glory, what's up Glory? It has a perfect Carfax with no accidents. Um, it has all the service records on the Carfax. Uh, when I got the car, it was pretty dirty on the inside, lots of stains. I threw some... Uh, just some old Volkswagen floor mats I had in there, but the car is in pretty good condition uh, Considering you know, it's 2006. It's got a tear in the seat back there um, But you know, it's not beat up and it's this unusual kind of green gold color. I'm not real sure what they even call it But um, this back here was full of paint stains I think whoever the pre previous owner was must have been an artist because I found all kinds of like paint brushes and weird type art materials under the seats and stuff but this was badly stained all of this was stained but I took it out and I man I worked hard cleaning it up it still even got the the uh, cargo cover which I can't believe um, but let's take it for a little ride I'll tell you more about it I do have a check engine light on, um, but my um, OBD2 scanner, for some reason, will not link up to this car. Uh, it keeps giving me a link failure. Um, so I've got check engine light, and then driving home from work yesterday, um, the ABS light came on and gave me a message over here in the, sur uh, in the message center telling me to service ABS and traction system. Um, the light comes and goes. It'll go off for 40 miles and then it'll come on. So not real sure what's up with that. So I'm going to have to address that. Um, but check engine light, I think, is because the car does not have a gas cap, of all things. I didn't realize it until I went to put gas in it, and there was no gas cap. So that's probably why the check engine light's on, and I still haven't sourced one or gone and picked one up yet. Um, AC's good and cold. I'd like to give a shout out to Robert DIY who gave me some tips on uh, how to fix your AC. Um, he really helped me out in that department and I got my AC going. It was uh, not blowing when I first got the car but it is now and it is very cold. So we got good cold AC in this car course the heat works heated seats work radio works all the windows sunroof everything seems to work fine I just uh, now I've just got these two lights to deal with like I said I think the check engine light is due to the gas cap and there we go the ABS light is gone so it can't quite make up its mind what it wants to do um, but I've owned several V70 wagons over the years. My first cross country wagon was a 99, which was the old body style that ran from, uh, let's see, like 98 to 2000, I believe. Um, this 2006, I think the horsepower on it is 208. Not sure what the torque number is, but this car is probably the peppiest of all the Volvo wagons I have owned. And I've had a couple of turbos over the years, but this one is uh, pretty darn quick. Um, 
surprisingly enough. But yeah, it, it's got great get up and go. I mean, that's only a third throttle. Um, but it's got a good set of Goodyear tires on it. They're almost new. Um, so it's got a good ride, nice and smooth. The front end feels pretty tight too. I don't have any clunking or popping sounds going on. Everything seems real tight there. Um, however, uh, sometimes when I go from reverse to drive, park to reverse, I get a pop from the front and that's either gonna be the top torque mount, which I have replaced those before, that's pretty easy or is the bottom torque mount. I just gotta figure out which one it is. Um, it's not as bad as my last Volvo. I had my 01 turbo, no, I'm sorry, 04 turbo, um, the gray S60. I've also got a video on. But, um, Whichever torque mount it is, it's got some, some play in it. So I'll need to check that out. Um, I got a little spot over there where you can see the, uh, the headliner or felt is coming detached from the A-pillar. It looks like it had done the same over here as well, but maybe the previous owner had uh, glued it back up in a crude fashion. Um, this car was just serviced by Dyer and Dyer Volvo in Atlanta. Um, I mean, just, just very recently. Um, it will, um, not need to be serviced until 242,000 miles. So, uh, you know, they, they pretty much serviced the car at the Volvo dealership and then took it and traded it in at a big box uh, Toyota store in Atlanta. And since it has 238,000 miles, they took it straight to auction and plus the AC would not come on and the check engine light was on so I can see why they sent it to auction. Um, but for $1,000, I, you know, you can't beat this much car. I mean, so far I have spent no money fixing the AC. I had the supplies in my garage. Um, and like I said, thanks to Robert DIY, um, he has great YouTube videos of working on old Volvos. And uh, just he, you know, I followed one of his tutorials and it helped me get my AC going. And, you know, I give him props for putting that video out there and helping me out there. Um, but yeah, 238,000 miles on a 2006, so it's a little on the high side. Uh, good thing is, it's got 33 service records on the Carfax, so it's been well serviced. Um, like I said, it's got almost a new set of Goodyear tires. So whoever the pre previous owners were of this car, they definitely took good care of it while it was in their hands. Um, it looked like the first owner, uh, it looked like just the way the Carfax read, that it possibly might have been a Volvo corporate car. Um, it was registered as a corporate vehicle. Now, it could have just been a large company, but it just looked like it might have been, and it was out of Connecticut, and I think they have offices up there, or, or in New Jersey they do can't really remember about that but uh, first owner didn't keep it very long at all less than a year um, and then the second third owners had it for five years a piece um, and like I said they've they've done a good job maintenance wise uh, just the interior has suffered some but um, I'm getting that cleaned up and straightened out and it's going to be good to go um, time and belt was changed. Uh, there's a sticker under the hood. Uh, it was changed right at 200,000 miles. It was like 199.8 something. So it was just done. So that's great news. Um, 
so I don't have to worry about a timing belt for a while. Um, but yeah, this little car just drives and handles so well. Um, it's so tight. So I'm thinking it has definitely had to have had some suspension work, uh, bushings and struts possibly, and because there's just no, um, you know, these old Volvo wagons, they get loose in the front end and start popping and rattling and making lots of noise. And uh, this one's just as tight as can be. Um, and as you can see, that check engine light, I mean, it just has to be that gas cap because this thing does not miss a beat. No hiccups, nothing. I wonder if my radio lights up. I've got it turned off. Let's see. Hmm. Well, some of the lights light up. Some of the back lights may be out. Um, we're going to go up the interstate one exit here real quick. gets up to speed real quick. She does pretty good. You gotta really watch yourself. Use the cruise control because this car loves to cruise. It wants to go 85, 90, as fast as you want to go, it'll go. this sunshade get us a little more I film I'm filming this kind of late tonight it's 20 till 9 so I hope you guys can see so running about 82 miles per hour we're turning about I don't know 2850 2900 rpm um, you can hear the five cylinder just faintly in the background Not too loud. But yeah, this is, um, gosh, this is a great car. I'd really like to keep this car for the little amount of money I've got in it. But, you know, like every car I buy, I always end up throwing it on Craigslist or selling it to a friend on Facebook or Instagram or something. <coughs> Um, it does have all four automatic windows, which was a surprise. I didn't know it offered that, so that's a nice feature. Um, also, all the fog lights work, front and rear. Um, they all work, so that's, that's nice. And again, like I said, the AC is nice and cold. nice and hot and man you just can't beat a Volvo seat Volvo makes the best seats in the business I, I don't know what it is about Volvo and their seats but they are so comfortable for the long haul you know you got a long road trip whatever the I mean the Volvo seat is just hard to beat. they're big and wide and provide support in all the right places And it's a four-wheel drive station wagon, so you can't get any more practical than that. Let's check our miles per gallon. 21 and a half on average. That's a combination of city plus highway. And this is a pretty big car, you know. 
you got a four-wheel drive system running as well so but I think on a nice road trip you could probably get her on up to 24 maybe 25 if you kept it at about 75 miles per hour that's what I've experienced in my last Volvo wagon but it um, it was just a, a two-wheel drive turbo um, with the 2.4 T this one is the 2.5 T so it has just a little more power a little more torque um, I think Volvo stroked up that motor a little bit in uh, 2005 I think was the first year that it became a 2.5 T my uh, 2002 2.4 T I think made 197 horsepower I think which doesn't sound like a big difference between 197 and 208 but there's definitely got to be a torque difference there because like I said this car just has so much more instant torque and get up and go so but anyway I just wanted to do a quick little video of this car um, it's gonna be for sale soon um, like I said I'm gonna uh, get a gas cap for it make sure that cures the check engine light if it doesn't cure the check engine light then I'll keep going until I find what's wrong you know O2 sensor or whatever uh, I don't think it's anything major because the car just runs perfectly fine and the gas mileage has been decent so um, it's got to be something small uh, the ABS you know it's coming and going um, so I don't know if I've got a wheel sensor or if the ABS module is going bad um, either way I'm going to keep an eye on that but um, the car will be fixed and a hundred percent ready before I put it out there for sale so you know if anybody's interested uh, looking for a you know a good nice uh, reliable family car that has all the service work done and you know a timing belt change at 200,000 so you've got at least until 300k to change it the next time uh, nearly a new set of Goodyear tires if you're looking for something for a few thousand dollars you know um, I can certainly make you a deal on this car and um, you know you'd have a great car that looks good too not beat up so anyway, y'all have a good night. Um, like, subscribe, share. I appreciate it. I'm trying to grow the channel. Um, I know I'm, you know, just kind of novice to all this, but um, give me give me a chance. Ha ha. Y'all have a good night, and I appreciate you watching. Peace.